boys and girls, day 25 in our review standards packet, and we will get to going so you can get to the weekend. All right. Me? Uh, okay, day 25. Look alive. All right, this is similar to what we did yesterday. That one problem I kind of showed you how to do the graph or the grid. Um, so when Though you do need to solve all the problems first. It says match each expression on the left to an equal expression at the top. So what that means is I need to find one of these problems at the top to match each whatever five times 70 is. I need to find another problem up here that has the same answer. So what you have to do is solve them all. Now, looks like a lot of problems to solve. However, they're all zeros. So what do you do when it's a zero? Multiply the first two together and then add your zero, right? So five times seven, 35, add my zero. Seven times seven, 49, add my zero. Five times eight, 40, add my zero. And seven times eight, 56, add my zero. If you don't have your facts down by now, you better work on some of those strategies that we have taught you to get those answers. Because you don't get a number, number chart or a multiplication chart on it. Okay, so I'll do the same thing up top. 49 times 10. Anything times 10, you just add the zero. 49, add my zero. 40 times 10, 40, add my zero. 56, add my zero, and 35, add my zero. All right, see that didn't take long at all. So now I have to match 350 to the 350, and that would be this box over here. So I would go all the way over and box in here. 490 is right here, so then I would match them up right there. 400, match them up right there. And 560, match them up right there. Okay, so that's how those charts work. Number two, a blank is a quadrilateral with four equal sides. That should be pretty easy. We know that squares have four equal sides. Rectangles can, but they don't always have to. Rhombus and trapezoid does not have four equal sides. Okay. Number three, Paul receives $5 a week in allowance. If he saves his money for 20 weeks, how much will he have at the end? Pretty easy. $5 a week for 20 weeks. So we know we are multiplying by 20 weeks. And what we just did before, right? Add the zero. Five times two is 10. Add my zero, 100 bucks. All right, number four, discussion post. Mark it. Live it, love it. Okay, you just have to type in the answer, A, B, C, or D. All right, number five, complete the sentence with the best answers. Oh, select all, oh, we haven't seen one of those in a while. So that means more than one, right? Okay, a square is a parallelogram. Does a square have two sides that are parallel? Yes. Can a square be a rectangle? Yes. Is a square a rhombus? Yes. Is it a trapezoid? Nope. Is it a hexagon? Nope, because hexagons have six sides. 
All right, number two is kind of bothering me here. So, cause I keep thinking a rhombus is a quadrilateral with four equal sides because a square is also a rhombus. So that one is a little tricky. Now, it, it doesn't say select all, but again, we did not write this. So sometimes there are a couple of mistakes. Hopefully you were thinking that as I was going through that problem. All right, number six, Mr. Sanchez grows three types of vegetables in his garden. I forgot a word here. What is the area of the garden that Mr. Sanchez uses to grow tomatoes? This problem seems familiar. All right, um, so we would find it's asking about tomatoes. There's tomatoes, so then we would count our squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten square feet. Remember, you got to have that word square and when you're answering for um, area. Number seven, select all the quadrilaterals. Remember, a quadrilateral is a shape that has how many sides? Geometry can be kind of tricky. Remember, QUA means four. So if you need to go back into your notes in your math journal when you got all the um, definitions, do it. It's a good way to refresh yourself because you want to get it right. All right, so that's your DP. Mark it, live it, let it, do it. Number eight, another great one. I love them. Remember our strategy. Two times nine is 18. Add my zero, I get 180. Fill in my grid. And then make sure I mark my bubbles to match each number that is in each column. Okay, number nine, select the polygons with four right angles. Select the polygons with four right angles. Does a square have four right angles? Yes. Does a trapezoid, remember the trapezoid looks like a trap? The lines aren't very straight. No, they do not have four right angles. There's a rhombus. No, the rhombus is like a kite, so their angles are slanted. A rectangle, yes. And a polygon. A polygon is just a closed shape. So it could be, this is a polygon, a triangle. No right angles. Some polygons do, square and rectangle, but it, some polygons don't, which is why this answer is not correct. Okay, number 10, what is the area of the shaded figure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember, I always dot to make sure I count them all. Oh, I see nine here. Four answers. One square is one square foot. So B would be correct. Remember with area, you're always gonna have that square feet, square inches, square miles. All right. All right, your job. Post number four and number seven. Get them checked and Day 25 in your warm up book and getting it checked. All right, so we are day 25, day 25. You are doing number four and number seven as a discussion post. Have a great weekend, Math Masters. See you later. Be a gator.